Hey guys, what is up? It is Howitzer here with Julian Rolaine, and we are back into Ultra Modded Skyrim here with Hodge, and now we've got Alana. She was with us before. I believe she's a caster, which is kind of what I'm shooting for, so we're going to have Alana as our new person. I've let Serana go. Serana's not managed by my follower mod because it kind of messes her up, so when I let her go, she goes and hangs out with the Dawn Guard, so she'll be there. We keep in Hodge because, I mean, why wouldn't we? Hodge is a badass. So me, Alana, and Hodge are going to get moving. We have not been back here in the house in so long I can't even remember it. Really nothing to do. We just still don't have gear better than the gear we're wearing. Uh, I hate to say, but uh, it really, did, well, I have gear better than the gear I'm wearing. But better than the uh, orcish gear that I'm using to fight with. Have to work on Channing before I'll be able to improve that, but... Gosh, I forget how awesome this house is with the waterfalls in the background and whatnot. Now, I did drop off a bunch of stuff here. I didn't have anything new to do. I made a bunch of potions, but there's stuff I'm not even going to carry. I just made to make. And then in here, all my mannequins stopped wearing their gear, which everyone knows that happens in Skyrim. But the only things I've dropped off, they'll be wearing. So I've dropped off our snow elf suit, and I dropped off... Did I drop off another armor, or was that it? No, I dropped off Harkon's armor. And then I dropped off a sword or two. I dropped off, like, the Ebony Cutlass, Harkon's sword. Um, Harkon's sword actually may have a slot on the wall, I'm wondering. Let's see here. Now that I think about it, I bet you he does have a slot on the wall. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, we've dropped stuff off here. I did drop off some books upstairs, too. We'll take a look at that. So, yeah, dropped off some more books here. Nothing too special. Just filling up our bookshelf. But, I mean, in here, our bookshelves are already overflowing. I can't access that shelf for some reason, even though it did light up there. And then I had tons of notes and stuff I had to drop off here. You can hold scrolls, journals, and notes. And I dropped off a bunch of jewelry, but nothing to note. So we're just going to see here. What time is it? 6.29 p.m. Let's wait an hour or two. We'll grab a drink. And let's grab a night's rest. And we'll get some breakfast. And then we will get out of here. Yeah, let's hit the road. Okay, guys, it is off to go do Dragonborn. So for Dragonborn, we need to go and let's see. Let's take our horse and we need to go to Windhelm. So let's mount up. Get in out of the rain here. Actually, we're in the rain. And let's put our furs on instead of our town gear. Gosh, it feels like it's been forever since we've been back here. From one DLC to the next, so we're going to go right into to, uh, Dragonborn. And let's make sure that we've got to go to, is it Windhelm? Yep. Hello. Need a ride? Yeah, I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Windhelm. Climb and back and we'll be off. Hopefully the rain stops. Okay, let's get out our torch for warmth and just get booking into town here because, of course, we are freezing. We'll get a night's stay here, get some food and drink, and then take the boat in the morning here. Run, dude, run. It's freezing out here. Hello, garden. Okay, it's daytime. It is freezing. Let's get inside here. Come on, just stoke the fire. 
Take a seat and get the cold out. All right, guys. So now that we are here, we've got our two followers. Let's see. It is 5:34 p.m. So let's go ahead and get our room. Hello. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. You know what? Let's see. Yeah. What do you got? Take a look. I want to stock up on food for the trip. Just in case food is not as easy to get once we are in uh, Solstheim. We're going to go ahead and take care of that. And then let's get a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. Okay. Well, she's not going to show us. I believe this is my room anyway. Yep. So let's just wait for dinner. Let me know if there's a Grab a drink and a bite to eat. And then let's get a night's rest. Get some breakfast. There we go. So we are all full. I didn't eat enough last night, apparently. Excuse me, guys. Don't make me run, but now I'm running. Sorry, Hodge. And gosh, no, everybody. What do you mean, what's the hurry? Just nobody wants to be out of the way. And we are off, guys. Let's get down to the boat. Time to go hit the docks. Get the heck out of this freezing, gosh forsaken town. <laughs> Gosh forsaken. Okay, is this where we need to Hi mister? Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Uh sure, what do you have? Not much, but I hope you like them. Stop by again. There you go. Alright, now I think this is where we need to go. Ours is to follow. Are we in the right place? Hello. Need something? Ah, uh, he's got fish. I don't think I need any fish. Now, hopefully, this is the docks. Yeah, it looks like we're in the right area here. Let's not waste any time freezing to death out here. Let's just Where are these vampires coming from? get going. So, uh, wipe them out before things get worse. Who goes to Solstheim here? Hello. Yes. He just says mm -hmm. to the next town. Hello. If you're looking for passage to Solstheim, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. What? What happened? Why won't you go back? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. Alright, that's the same cultist that attacked me, man. How about you go, but you take me back so I can put an end to all this? Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. <laughs> um, come on, man. You owe me. Those cultists you brought here tried to kill me. All right. You have a point. Taking you back to find out who sent them is the least I can do. Besides, maybe you can put a stop to whatever's going on over there. I owe them a bit of payback myself. Oh, and here we are, guys. No boat. Whoa. <laughs> what was going on there? Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here.
Okay, we're totally freezing. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That's not good. So we've added a mod that uh, changes what this area looks like, and that totally <laughs> messed up the boat and put me in the wrong place. I'm still here. Yeah, now we're freezing to death. So we need to get inside someplace warm immediately. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we normally would have come on. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. I'm looking for Mirak. Do you know him? Mirak, I... I'm not sure that I do. Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Why are you so suspicious of visitors? I have to be. A second counselor, the security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. Has security been an issue here? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. Huh. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvane down. So what do your titles mean? Councillor Morvane is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. A second councillor is my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. So Ravenrock is purely a Dunmer settlement? Ravenrock started out as an Imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles, and when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. So what's the city of Blacklight? Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since Mornhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply well, ship and visitors. Call my kind Argonian. We prefer the term Saxony. The Argonians invaded Morrowind? Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. Attempted expansion, revenge for the enslavement of their people, or perhaps both. Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives, and many more were exiled from their homeland. Giolan, I was prospecting for Ebony. You're wasting your time. The mine's as dry as a bow. Okay, well, Haj, you better be careful around here. I don't think they're going to like you, man. <laughs> Considering you're an Argonian, that's probably not a good thing to be here. So let's go inside. I want to go inside this main place first. We just need to warm up and, and kind of catch our bearings and figure out what's going on. Hello. Okay, so we're in some kind of temple here. This will let me dry out, hopefully. Hello. Are you here to pray? Or perhaps pay your respects at our ancestral tomb. What are the ancestral tombs? They're where we inter our dead. They are sacred places, meant to honor their passing. Sadly, we've been unable to use the ancestral tomb beneath the temple as of late, and have resorted to other locations to scatter the remains. Why can't you use the tomb? Those foul the abominations we call ash spawn have risen from the ashes of our own ancestors. They're befouling the memories of our forefathers by defiling their remains. Wow, I didn't really know that's what ash spawns were, so I'll, yeah, I'll take care of that. Thank you, Wanderer. That would be most kind. Here, this key should open the door to the tomb. Nice. So do you know someone called Mirak? Hmm. Sounds like something from a dream, and yet it might be more strange. What sort of dream? 
I remember a temple on Solstein and working to build something. It, uh, it was not a pleasant dream. So how do the Dunmer bury their dead anyway? The Dunmer race doesn't bury their dead or leave them to rot inside a stone sarcophagus. When a Dunmer passes, his body is given to fire so he might return to the ash from whence he came. The Dunmer don't believe that death is the end. We believe that it's the beginning. So what exactly are the reclamations? The Reclamations are the true tribunal, the Daedra that consecrate the Dunmer people, Azura, Methala, and Boethia. We call them the true tribunal because they have reclaimed their place in our hearts from the false tribunal that came before. The, the, fire the false tribunal? Sotha Sil, Amalexia, and Vivek represent what was being who won the Dunmer people's hearts with their actions, but blinded them just the same. They were aberrations, false prophets. They used their status as heroes to shield the true tribunal from our minds. But now that they've been destroyed, the light can finally shine upon the House of Reclamations. Hmm. Be cautious, friend. The ash spawn are soulless beings with no regard for compassion. Okay, so we need to go downstairs to fight. Hello. Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Outsiders aren't welcome here. Do you know someone called Mirak? Mirak? It sounds very familiar. Uh, not someone here, but I'm not sure I can recall. So is he someone you know or not? I can't be sure. I know I've heard that name, but it, it doesn't feel real. Does that make any sense? Okay, so this is really weird. Everybody remembers Mirak, but they don't. You know what I mean? It's kind of this whole... Something's made them forget. I don't want to steal from these guys. So we're going to go downstairs. We're going to get our gear on and we're going to go and see if we can clear this out for this guy. Of course, he's already going downstairs or someone's already going downstairs. <laughs> What's equipped? That's kind of funny. Let's go ahead and get the pale blade equipped. And let's head downstairs. You guys ready for this? Let's, uh... Yeah, no, wait. I'm hungry and I need a nap. That's good. We're not going to worry about the nap. We're going to go ahead and eat. Torches are running through too quickly. So these are just bedrooms for these guys. What time is it? 4.37 p.m. We can sleep after this place. Whoa, what is going on down here? Okay, we had that holy raid set up last time for Ash Spawn. What would be good for Ash Spawn? Let's see here. How about... Energy stream? I don't know if I've casted that one in a while. Sure got a huge effect. If I remember right, this one eats up like all of your magic in like pretty much one shot. Yep. Pretty much killed that ash spawn though. <laughs> so let's do... Let's see here. Uh, what sounds like fun, guys? What's gonna... Be fun, but not take up too much magic. Let's go Frost Breath. And let's see. Geyser Rune is pretty fun. Let's try that. That blast guy is way up in the air. Oh, shoot. Oh, 
Do I even? I don't even have enough magic to cast that. So let's get something that is gonna be easy for me to cast. Whoa! Man, look how cool these Ash Spawn look too. My mods that make them look all like high performance are definitely working well here. I have never seen the Ash Spawn look this cool. And they just keep coming. Watch out, Hodge. I can't get over how awesome their textures look, man, and the red eyes and stuff. I hated these guys in the in the Xbox 360 version of doing this stuff. So we got one more back here, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. What's up, guys? We all good? Spawn Ash? Look at the textures, man. It's I haven't really been to Solstheim after texturing it. Okay, they, these guys are coming out of nowhere now. So they're, they're going to keep spawning out of these things. Oh, wait. No, they're not. No, they're not. All right. So let's go and see what we can see here. East Empire. Oh, heck yeah. That's not stealing. Nice, nice, all sorts of good stuff here. Man, these textures are amazing. They are amazing. Look at these ash piles. Are you kidding me? So this island is a big mining island, I guess, because ore is just everywhere. And I mean everywhere. We're going to be overloaded with it very soon I'm sure but I am going to take what I can I was just talking earlier how we need new gear and crafting it's probably gonna be the way we're gonna end up doing it four suitors of Benatar nice restoration we could definitely use I want to look around in here Nothing's, uh... Okay, so the Ashbon we killed, they're all taken care of. And it looks like if we just go through the other side, let's just check just in case there's not like a chest or something in there. Yeah, it looks like it's just all the burial areas that they weren't able to use. So let's get out of here. Our work is done here. Let me put my uh, furs on so we can stay warm. So where is this guy at? Looks like he is upstairs. And it looks like he is outside, or no, that's reaching the Temple of Mirak. This is what we're looking for. And he is right here. Turn that compass off. Hello. I am Arthraloth, elder of the reclamations and keeper of this temple. The temple's tomb has been cleansed. Spirits be praised. 
I'm hoping you didn't suffer much at the hands of those foul beings. Please, accept this as a token of my thanks. May Azura, Mafala, and Boethia guide you. Okay, everybody, you know, I want to call this one here an episode. I'm, I, we're getting close to time, may not be right at the 30 minutes, but I just wanted to get here to Solstheim and get started. We're even able to do a quick quest so we can make some friends here since nobody really likes us here, it seems. They're probably going to hate Hodge. So we'll see how we do here. Hopefully these guys will, will help us out down the road. I am so excited to be here. I've put in tons of texture packs in both of the DLCs that I never got to see because I never got as far again to do the darn DLCs. So Dawn Guard looked amazing. Dragonborn already looks amazing. I cannot wait to see more of it. Those ash spawns were fire, man. Those things were so cool looking that that was worth it right there. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, I want to thank you so much for your guys' support. If you like the video, if you could leave a like, it helps out so much. And if you like the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, why not subscribe for all the future Skyrim goodness to come? Otherwise, guys, I just want to say thanks again. Take care, and I hope to see you all next time.